I missed it. <laughs> I missed it coming down. But that was awesome. Okay. Hmm. All right. So what we're doing out here is I am going to start planting, doing some planting over here. And these trees um, needed to be pruned so I could get enough sunlight to make use of the area that I wanted to that I wanted to uh, to start planting in so I need to have enough Sun and so we're getting some soil and some manure <coughs> and one of our repats helped us with this so I'm also um, I'm also going to be setting up the foundation area for the boys quarters so this coconut tree uh, sadly had to come down um, it did not look safe it was kind of rotted and I said I wouldn't cut down any trees but this one particularly had to come down so we're gonna have a good time with this because we're gonna use it to sit on we're gonna use it to do all kinds of stuff but this is the result right um so it was it wasn't safe especially for thinking of putting up another structure so it, as you can see it's kind of like super bent um, but it was kind of a little bit rotten as well. So these are banana suckers that I had uh, Joseph move because we had like a whole banana jungle over there and we cut them down to clear the land and they are coming back up fresh. So I had them move them. But this is the area where the boys house is going to be in so um they're gonna work on this stump and then we're gonna put their their house over here somewhere um so yeah that's as far as i'm that's as far as i want to go with uh taking down trees here is pruning um cutting down some of like the the wilted uh, branches um, but that's as far as I go because I need sun and I need shade Woo, there is some more coming down but this is an important an important tree it's an acacia tree and when an acacia tree starts to blossom it, it produces like these small little flowers um, and I didn't necessarily want so much of this tree to come down um but i guess it was based on what was you know convenient for him to reach obviously you know i don't know how else i would have just you know taken down like two or three branches so what we're gonna do with all of this that we haul off we're going to cart it off somewhere over there to the burn pile and then we're going to clear up this land space clean it up because this is where we're going to be putting down our garden all right um and then as we start construction on the boys house and on the other area in the back we have a path all right so this whole area um this whole area uh, with full sun is where we're gonna be uh, is where we're gonna be putting um, our garden and then um, I have some like things that I want to put in the kitchen garden I'm waiting for Jackson to come back to tell them do not chop. Oh, they already chopped it up but you know oh yeah they already chopped packed it up in the little pieces 
That's not what I wanted though. Alright. Uh, I have to pour a libation where this tree came from as an offering of peace so that the soil can continue to give me its goods. Right. But yeah, the whole area. Um, and we probably need to build back this little area here because as you plant and start watering, if you don't have something to retain it in, it will just, you know, erode, right? Like how we had to plant here, right? Because nothing was really growing here until we put, you know, the capstones here. And we actually have enough rubble that we could do that. So I have to bring that guy back. So hopefully we get this cleared um, and how I want it. This place right here is nicely lit, but I need to get some pallets to put my raised beds in so it would work here. But I don't have that yet. So in the meantime, I am pruning, clearing, and then Jackson's going to come with the soil. So from here to all the way over there, that's going to be our area. Uh-oh, I hear Jackson coming. Okay, um, what else did I want to show you? I don't remember, but pretty much that's what uh, was popping today. Um, I did a video, the previous video to this one is talking about the seeds. Um, so yeah, and we're going to prune that coconut tree, these coconut trees to make sure the coconuts, um, you know, don't fall on my plants, right? So yeah, something is happening. I, I don't, I don't really have like the resources to do a whole lot, but I do have enough to get something done. So, you know, as they say, kidogo, kidogo. I like how I did that house. Everything was done little by little. So, um, in Jamaica, they say every mickle, mecca muckle, right? So that's what we're doing. We're just, uh, we're working with what we have until we're able to accomplish what we want. Okay, y'all. All right, that's what's up today at the Exodus house. All right, let me leave you with some beautiful nature. We planted this last year. All right. And it's flowering. It hasn't flowered since last year. So we're putting... Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show you. So... I actually have, and this was here, the lady who owned this house planted this before she passed. Jackie oh, Jackie oh. So this well lit area is perfect for a kitchen garden. So I'm going to be putting down some like garlic and thyme and carrot and herb and, you know, things here, right? It doesn't look like much, but remember, <laughs> none of this looked like much, right? That whole green space was just that space before I planted it. All of this place looked just like this. So don't worry about that. Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Let me continue with my uh, mission. So yeah, we're planting. And pretty much we're planting for our uh, beekeeping community project. Sustainable repatriation. That's what's up. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.